And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I am your host, Chris Shanifel, and I am now joined by a former member of the Carolina Panthers, who is now one of the newest members of the San Diego Chargers defensive end slash linebacker, Thomas Kaiser. Thanks for joining the show, Thomas. How's it going? Going great. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Thomas, I want to start this interview off by talking about uh, your college days. I see you attended uh, Stanford University. I know you're one of the top recruited high school athletes in the state of Pennsylvania, but why did you de- uh, decide to attend Stanford University? Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely not something I expected, you know, going to a school on the West Coast. But, um, you know, they showed up when my high school started recruiting me, and I knew I had to look, look into Stanford, especially with, you know, not only being a BCS football team, but also the academic prestige of the, of the university. And so, you know, I went out there, took a visit, did a camp, and got offered and, you know, committed shortly after. Now, there are people out there that decide on a college based on just sports or whether or not it's a party school, but Stanford has a reputation of being uh, one of the best schools in the nation to get an education at. Now, you tell me if this is true, but it seems like you were pretty serious in your education, majoring in science, technology, and society, uh, just as much as you were in football, correct? Yes, I was. I mean, in college, I felt like I didn't have to, to compromise either my education or my uh, performance on the football field. And so I tried to see, tried to see both opportunities the best I could. Now, Thomas, I'm uh, getting ready to walk across the stage graduating high school tomorrow. Is there any advice you have for me as I get uh, ready to uh, live the college life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you have lots of fun. You know, college is a, a very unique time, and it's, um, it's a great experience it's Go out and experience as much as you can and enjoy it. All right, you bet. And uh, before committing to Stanford, did you know that you'll be redshirting your first year there? No, I did not. I was actually very disappointed when I did because, you know, I I came on strong in camp. But, uh, you know, redshirting, you know, wasn't ideal for me. But I made the most of the opportunity. I felt like I improved between that redshirt year and, you know, sophomore year when I finally started getting to play. Yeah, and in your second year, which was, of course, your sophomore year, you were on the football field quite uh, quite often, making a significant uh, c- uh, contribu- contributions on the defensive line. Can you tell us about that first career start against a team like Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, how, how that was for you? Yeah, you know, that was, that was awesome getting to play that game. It was... Um, you know, I thought it was kind of special to me, not only because I'm Catholic, but because, you know, I was recruited by Notre Dame, but they ended up passing on me. So, you know, you always play with a chip on your shoulder with, I guess, the team who, you know, didn't think you were good enough or didn't want you for whatever reason. And, um, you know, it, it was a great experience. And it was in your third year at Stanford in 2009 when you became a starter for the Cardinals and would finish the season with nine sacks, which is pretty impressive to say the least. Uh, Thomas, I'm going to ask you two questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask you about two guys who who were with you at Stanford, and you tell me whether or not you're surprised by the success they're having in the NFL. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, first will be your former quarterback, Andrew Luck, who was selected with the first overall pick uh, by the Indianapolis Colts last year and helped uh, helped them lead to a playoff appearance with a 10-6 record, also throwing for over 4,000 yards. Were you surprised at all by his performance last season? I mean, it was his rookie season having a great year. Not the slightest bit surprised. I mean, Andrew Andrew is the real deal from the day he stepped on on the field at Stanford, and, uh, you know, he, he has those intangibles that you look for in the quarterback, the leadership, just, you know, really, really being able to get the guys to rally behind him, and, um, you know, I know that he's going to go on to be successful and, and definitely win Super Bowls and have every other accolade you can as a professional football player. And, of course, he made players around him better. I mean, when, when do you hear about a Vic Ballard or a, or a T.Y. Hilson, you know? Exactly. Uh, next up is a guy that, to be honest, he may be one of the most disliked players in the NFL right now. And last year, he really made a name for himself, having eight interceptions and three forced fumbles. Cornerback for the Seattle Seahawks, Richard Sherman. What are your thoughts on uh, you know the success he's having in the NFL? You know, I'm I'm happy to see how much success 
Sherman's out in the NFL since he got there. Um, I, he was a year ahead of me, but we ended up leaving, uh, leaving at the same time after the 2011 season. And, um, you know, I remember seeing him transition from wide receiver to cornerback. And, and to be quite honest with you, it, it was definitely a rough transition at first. But, you know, he, he's definitely improved, and he always had the physical uh, tools necessary to be a, be a great cornerback. And, and it's been dramatic how much, you know, I, I've seen him improve over the past three years, and I feel like he has, you know, everything he needs to continue that success. You guys are listening to Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanfeld, talking with newly acquired San Diego Charger, Thomas Kaiser. All right, Thomas, back to you. You decided to enter the 2011 NFL draft where you would go undrafted. Were you surprised that not one team called your name during that draft? Well, when I, when I declared for the draft early, you know, I, I thought I was going to go somewhere around, around three to five. And um, basically it was just a series of events that just, you know, got worse and worse as the whole draft process went on. And, you know, by the time the draft weekend came around, I had a, a pretty good sense that I was not going to be drafted. Um, you know, I still held out for a little bit of hope, but, you know, it was definitely disappointing. And how quick did your phone start ringing, uh, you know, maybe in the sixth, seventh round? And why did you decide Carolina would be the best fit for you? Well, it was a unique situation because of the lockout. They were not even allowed to do the free agent signings until July, you know, wow. probably three days before camp started. And, I, you know, I sat around for a couple months not knowing where I was going to go. But, you know, once, once free agency opened for that, I had, I don't know, probably somewhere between eight or nine teams calling me. Um trying to bring me in and uh and Carolina seemed like the best opportunity and um you know I, I went there and, and the rest is history. Now during your first year in Carolina you appeared in uh, eight games and actually registered 13 tackles, four sacks and an interception. Uh, I gotta think the limited the limited playing time you had you were pretty uh satisfied by your performance that season is that right? It, it was a great start and you know I was uh I, I was you know, really happy that I, I got to play those eight, eight games, final eight games this season, and go out there and produce. And that's that's what I've done throughout my whole career is, you know, you put me in and I go make plays and then I get out to the quarterback. And so I felt like I, you know, made that case my rookie year. Can you tell us about that first NFL quarterback sack that you had? Yes, that was, uh, that was against the Lions with um, Stafford and... Um, you know, I had, I, I don't know, I think it was only first or second down, maybe play action pass, and I was, uh, I, I was rushing, I, I just reacted to my key as rushed, and before I knew it, I was at the quarterback, and, uh, and took him down, and then, you know, got another one, I don't know, series or two later, so, you know, it was, it was a great way, a great way to start the career of my, you know, my second game playing. Nice. So two sacks on Stafford. As a Bears fan, Thomas, I gotta say that is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Now, who who was it that decided to throw the ball your way, and uh, who was it that you picked off? Um, that was against Tampa Bay. That was I think Johnson was the quarterback then. It was a, it was a deflected pass. Uh, our de- other defensive end, Greg Hardy. Um, came around and hit his arm when he was throwing and you know I was rushing on the other side saw that ball in the air and just like zoned in on it and it was that was all I could see around me was that ball caught it and you know I, I only got eight or nine yards because you know I already had a bunch of a bunch of the guys around me but it was uh, it was definitely pretty awesome getting that interception now, now Thomas don't lie man after that interception were you over there on the oxygen machine <laughs> no, no, I was, uh, I was in great condition, but uh, I was definitely, definitely pumped. You know, and, and with you saying that, I gotta say, in your twi- uh, your uh, Twitter avatar on uh, Twitter at Thomas Kaiser, I gotta say, man, you are huge, and I, I mean, I just can't. I, I'm not going to be surprised if you really make a name for yourself this year with the uh, San Diego Chargers. Uh, you know, just recently, 
Uh, you were weighed by the Carolina Panthers, and a few days went by, and you signed with the San Diego Chargers. Are you excited to be with the new team? Yes, I'm very excited to be with the Chargers. It's, it's an awesome opportunity, and I really can't wait to get started. You know, I, uh, I hit meetings yesterday, and then I had to fly back. Fly back to Carolina, move out of my apartment and everything. I'll be back on Sunday and hit the ground running on Monday. But, you know, it's, it's a great team, great organization, and, you know, I'm really excited about this opportunity. And unfortunately, former Chargers first-round draft pick Melvin Ingram, he tore his ACL two days before you signed with the Chargers. Do you know if you'll be taking his place or not, or uh, do you do you know what your role will be like with the team? I do not know the specifics of my role other than, uh, you know, I'm an outside backer in outside back positions, and, you know, I'm just uh, in that playbook trying to, trying to learn it all so that, you know, wherever they see me as a, as a good fit, I can I can jump in there. Nice. What can San Diego Chargers fans expect from their newest player, Thomas Kaiser, this season? Uh, they can expect me to get after the quarterback, play with great intensity at all times, and, you know, I play with a high motor. I'm going to give 100%, and, um, and, you know, good things happen when I'm out there. Hey, that sounds good to me. Any idea if you're going to be keeping the number 98? Um, right now I have 90, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that for the season or not, so, uh, we'll, we'll see how it will be 90 for now. All right, cool. Thomas, I really appreciate your time on the show, man. Uh, before I let you go, I have just a few fun, quick, personal questions to just get to know you a little bit. Does that sound good? Yes. All right, Thomas, what is your favorite TV show and movie? Ooh, putting me on the spot. Um, probably a TV show, I would say Breaking Bad. And movie, that's a tough one because I'm a big movie buff, but I'd what have you going? I'd like All right, favorite thing to eat? Favorite thing to eat? Steak. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, if you were able to meet any famous person, who would that be and why? Uh, famous person. Is this dead or, uh, dead or alive? Yep. I would say, I'd say I'd like to meet George Washington. All right, all right. And, and I, I say that because, you know, he was an extraordinary leader, and um, and I, I think he's, you know, he's really one of a kind, and I'd like to, I'd like to take the brain of somebody who, you know, was able to not only lead a nation, but also uh, do it in such a successful manner. All right, that, that's actually interesting. I never heard uh, George Washington yet. Now, Thomas, you're on uh, Twitter at Thomas Kaiser, just just your full name. Why do you make it important to connect with your fans? I mean, if it wasn't for Twitter, you know, you, you wouldn't be on the show right now. So I really appreciate that. And then I seen that uh, was it last night, maybe or the night before, that you were actually saying thank you to uh, I believe every Chargers fan and even Panthers fan that was you know saying goodbye to you or welcoming you to San Diego. Yes, I think it's important to communicate with the fans, and you know, as a as a player, you appreciate the support you get, and, and it means a lot. And to, to be able to have a tool like Twitter is, is awesome because you know, really, otherwise, I I wouldn't be communicating with fans aside from you know, seeing them at, at a few events every year. And so, you know, Twitter's been awesome for that. All right, and last but not least, what is something about Mr. Thomas Kaiser, linebacker for the San Diego Chargers, that many people do not know about? Uh, hmm, that's a good one. Probably that I'm a big, big outdoorsman. Hmm. I like being outside and, and doing all that good stuff. All right, and uh, Thomas, you know, last but not least, man, I, I got to say thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. I wish you nothing but the best in San Diego, and, uh, you know, stay healthy and take care of this, se this season, man. All right, thank you very much. All right, good luck.